Now, as you can imagine, it's getting a little complicated. And as much as I try to explain this in writing or just by talking, um, it's difficult. So I, I thought a visual would be helpful to explain where all the vaccines are coming from, where they're going, and who's administering them. So it starts out with the federal government and uh, through the Operation Warp Speed. And remember the Operation Warp Speed included everything from the development of the vaccine to the distribution sites. Um, so the first uh, allocations, uh, some of the first allocations went to the long-term care facilities and those are indicated on your right. And they were distributed to long-term care facility residents and workers uh, in Dubuque County by Walgreens, and that occurred in January and February. Now, the uh, state of Iowa estimated generously for the long-term care residents and staff, and there were some remaining doses. So in the last couple of weeks, they have been distributed in Dubuque County by Walgreens. They had an, a limited surplus number of doses for the 65 an older group at Dubuque locations. And I think it was as little as 100 doses per store per week. Now that will um, eventually run out if it hasn't already. So the other way vaccines are being distributed is through the state of Iowa, where the Iowa Department of Public Health allocates vaccines to the counties and then the county further allocates vaccine to the approved provider. So in Dubuque County, that's how we've been uh, allocating vaccine to Mercy, um, Finley Unity Point, uh, Medical Associates, and some other providers that we've allocated to. At the same time, as well, as recently as last week, the federal retail pharmacy program kicked in and that um, initial enactment of that program, the Iowa Department of Public Health made the initial determination of where those doses would go. And they determined that they would go to high V stores and uh, the network of CPSEN, which is a, a network of a variety of pharmacy providers. And in our community, Mercy One belongs to Mercy One Pharmacy belongs to that CPSEN network. So High B and Mercy One are getting a limited number of doses allocated to them. Um, I don't know exactly when our High B initially the High B on Locust is the only one being allocated doses, and I believe they are uh, taking appointments via online um, or on the phone. Now this will continue, continue and increase as supplies um, increase from the federal retail pharmacy program. Um, Mercy One is distributing theirs through a couple of their pharmacy locations um, and they are notifying their patients. Also, Probably after March 1st, the federal retail pharmacy program will begin um, allocating supplies directly to other uh, pharmacies that have signed up for this federal retail pharmacy program. And in our community, Dubuque County, that includes CVS, which is at Target, the Hardig sites, Walgreens, Walmart, and I believe that's about, and there may be some other ones, but those are the main ones. And finally, there will be another source of vaccine um, allocation through federally qualified health centers. And this is contingent on supplies and will occur all over the country. And we hope that eventually that will, allocation will go directly to Crescent Community Health Center. This will not go through the states and um, it will go to over 250 health centers around the country um, in the first allocation, none of the health centers in Iowa received any vaccine. 
So that's kind of a visual of all the different ways that the vaccine is being allocated.